Well, today we're going to see if we can take out the mountain bike, the Trek Marlin 8, and we're going to see how we get on. So it's my first time proper mountain biking on a proper mountain bike, and it's my first time on this bike. It should be amazing. I mean, let me just put this bike away. I'm going to head up to Cheddar Gorge, uh, and I'll try and get up on the top of the gorge, uh, see how we go with climbing. Hopefully about 68k. Nothing too special. Hang on a minute. Uh, done with them. Yeah, that's better. All right, let's go. Early impressions so far. This suspension is a game changer. Just smooths everything out. I mean, I've ridden this track on a tandem, on my road bike, on a gravel bike. So it's pretty, uh, pretty easy stuff to be riding on. But even so, you can tell a massive difference so far just with that suspension, especially on the arms. And I've put this bit in there because I did this on the Somerset 100 Gravel Sportive and it was a bit too much for me in the gravel bike. I couldn't cope with these bumps. But with this suspension, I'm actually riding it one-handed and filming, which was a definite no-no that day. So far, so good. I'm having a good day. I am loving this bike. We've still got to do the rough stuff yet though. And uh, a bit of climbing on it. So we'll see how it goes. I like this bit. This bit's beautiful. Nice bit of boardwalk. Why am I Well, she didn't stay clean for long. That uh, little drove got her all plastered. Although in my newbie state, I know I've got bigger tires. I don't know what tire pressures I'm supposed to be running. So I've just left them as they were set up. They're supposed to be tubeless. I don't know how you can tell, but there we go. <laughs> They're not doing so bad so far. And I know I'm probably being ultra uncool with my handlebar bag, but I don't know where else you put the inner tube spare inner tube and the tools and um, pump, <laughs> just carrying everything in there. I mean, I've probably got noob written all over me, and I? <laughs> who cares, I'm having a laugh. Although for those of you who are worried, I have taken off the dork disc. All right, so here we go. Had to come through a couple of gates to get here. And I'm heading up what is supposedly climb three of seven today. Although um, I've missed out climb two somehow. And as you can probably see from the profile, there's a lot of red on there. But I know this gets us up somewhere to the top of Cheddar Gorge and Draycott Steep is only just to the right. So it's never gonna be one for the faint hearted. Real test for this mountain bike and this 50 cog dinner plate that I've got on the back. Said hi. 
Well, the bike was magnificent up there. I made it a lot easier with those gears. My fitness isn't there though. I've not been on the bike much in the last six to eight weeks since I come back from the bike packing. But the very last thing you want when you get to the past the difficult part of the climb, I'm not gonna say the top because I can still see it goes on. Um, but I'm confronted with this. Uh, he's, well, he stopped staring at me now. Probably thinks I'm just mad. But that there's a bull. There's a few more cows in the field and I've got to go that way is at this point I knew I messed up by picking a red bike <laughs> sprinting uphill to get away from a bull I think I'd just go back down again because that would be a lot more fun going down than it was coming up there they go there they are. I mean no harm Follow me. Uh, it's quite scary. It's probably bonkers that you can ride your bike up here at the top of the gorge. <laughs> ah, I missed my turning though, so I've ended up pushing it up a little bit of a footpath. And not ideal, but the wheels nicely go over the rocks, just not very good to walk in these shoes. But man, what a view! What a stunning view! might just be a little bit above my comfort level at this moment in time but I come down most of that very impressed with myself because I know when I came here on my gravel bike with Mark I didn't ride much of it I, I ended up chickening out walking down this bit but I have ridden quite a bit of it uh, it just rolls over with these tires and the suspension and just bounces along um, but when there's big drops like that no I mean <laughs> I'm old man I want to protect my bones I don't want to be going on with any broken bones but it's such fun up here. What a beautiful place to ride a bike. My class is a real mountain bike and now I've got dirty legs. Well, I'm really proud of myself for getting down there, just plowing on down. I caught a few thorns, I got a few cuts, didn't that last little bit coming down there. I think uh, Mark would even be proud of me from what I've ridden down there. We'll find out on Thursday because I'm going to the Forest of Dean with him and Dean and John Weeks again. Should be a laugh. If I've recovered from this ride, 
because uh, <laughs> I think I've got a couple of hills to go. I think it might be time to find a cafe. But as for this bike though, oh, what a weapon. What a weapon. For a first time mountain biker, ah, oh, just instilling me with so much confidence. The more I ride it, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm having a great day. Thoughts are spinning round in my head I'll both so sit down Cause I'm almost there Now I see you through the window And I'm walking on air But I won't let you know And I know How it goes It's supposed to feel incredible It's too bad Right, so made it back to Glastonbury. I've got to say, Hock Ames, if you're asking. Uh, I couldn't afford to lose another pair of OPs, so <laughs> these love to do. I really like them, actually. They're the, the ones I picked, my favorites. Whether I can carry off a pair of purple glasses at 53, who knows, but uh, I like them. Anyway, my first impressions of this Trek Marlin, Gen 3, 2023. Or Trek Marlin 8, I should say. Uh, right, should we start with the negative? Negative is these handlebars. Uh, they're very wide. I've got very sore wrists at the minute. And the uh, bar grips themselves as well. Yeah, I'm not, not a fan. They've got this kind of uh, fluffy ripples on. And your hands just spin on them when they get wet and sweaty. So you haven't got much grip. And uh, coming down some of those uh, rocky descents, yeah, not the best. But overall, I think that's pretty much the only negative, to be honest. It was a brilliant bike today. It's served me well. It's taken me to some places locally where I've never been before. So a bit of local exploring. You can never knock that. Absolutely love it. Suspension is brilliant. I mean, I've been suffering from golfer's elbow. One of the reasons I haven't actually uh, been riding my bike and I haven't felt that today. And it was, uh, it was quite sore yesterday after I'd been shoveling a load of gravel in the back garden. But today, didn't feel it. I've also had some knee pain on the very few tandem rides I've done and today, no knee pain. So that's plus plus. So all bears well for uh, the Forest of Dean on Thursday. So uh, looking forward to that now getting on some blue runs, seeing what it can do. Love descending on it. It just goes and the wheels just roll over everything. And a couple of those uh, newer sections where I've explored today, uh, they would have been better going down rather than up. A bit of a slog going up without any fitness, uh, but they would have been lovely descents to go down because they were quite smooth. So uh, all in all, so far so good is what I can say. I'll do a full in-depth review when I've been riding it for a few weeks. I mean, as a, it's my first ever mountain bike as well, so... Oh, I thought he was running like he stole something. Then he was sprinting across there. <laughs> he just stopped behind me. <laughs> Not a new mountain biker anymore. So we will see you in the next video, which will be me either making an ass of myself around Forrester Dean or uh, surprising myself and flying around those berms. But from... Uh, Grey over class Glastonbury. We will see you in the next video. Someday we will collide some place where we can hide our space.
forget the world outside just for a while. Somewhere.